Today, SG sends a strong message to Jacksonville leaders. And the women's basketball team earned a win last night. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen, and you're watching Spinnaker News. So the baseball team started this weekend, didn't they? It did, and they, they got two wins and a loss, so they started oh off pretty gosh. strong. And do you plan on going out to any of the games? Um, I do plan on going out, and I'm really glad that they won because I feel like that's a good start to a strong season. Yeah, and the loss was only 7-6, to six, so it was a very close game, oh. and there's going to be more games to come, so you have plenty of opportunities. All righty, well, moving on to other news. UNF student government passed a bill earlier this month showing support for a Jacksonville City Councilman's version of an expanded human rights ordinance. Human rights ordinances prohibit discrimination against people for things such as housing, employment, and businesses based on race, ethnicity, gender, or religion. Jacksonville's current ordinance fails to cover people based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Spinnaker spoke with the Jacksonville Councilman this month about the bill. Uh, why some people find uh, it difficult to support it. It's not a faith-based issue. It's not a religious issue. It's a human rights issue. It's about uh, a civil right that belongs equality for all of us. And why Jacksonville is still in the gaslight era, while we're frozen in time, makes no sense to me. If every other city can deal with it, what's wrong with Jacksonville? Why can't we? Why are we different? Why are we, if we're going to be Jacksonville where Florida begins, and this should be where inequality ends. A copy of the SG bill was sent to the mayor's office, the Jacksonville City Council, the Jacksonville Coalition for Equality, and UNF President John Delaney. SG Senator Christopher Jordan commented on the stance saying, student government is the idea that Ospreys don't leave other Ospreys behind. Speaking of Ospreys not leaving other Ospreys behind, we're going to toss it over to your Spinnaker Sports. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Lassen with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The women's basketball team played their last home game in the season and actually ended on a high note, crushing fellow a Sun school NGIT 72-49. It was a major team effort with four players scoring double figures. Claire Ioannidis, Sierra Shepard, Kara Johnson, Kadisha Johnson. You can call them the Fantastic Four. Ioannidis is the eighth player in school history to score 400 points in a season, and she's only three points away from passing Brittany Kirkland's total to move up to seventh place. Look for that to happen this Saturday against JU. And the Ospreys shot 9 for 10 in the final quarter, outscoring the Highlanders 23 to 7. Up until then, the game was basically neck and neck with just a 7 point spread. And while the offense stepped up to close out the game, the defense wasn't sleeping either, as they blocked NJIT, who only shot a lousy 25% from the floor in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, when the Highlanders only completed two baskets. The fun continues as UNF closes the season this Saturday at 7 p.m. down the street against Crosstown rival JU. Finally, another week, another episode of Center Court. Tune in this Wednesday to check out hosts Ryan Hennessy and Alex Gatlin as they talk about the hottest topics in sports. Last week, they were joined by head coach Matthew Driscoll, who discussed the men's recent losing streak, which is now a winning streak. So make sure you catch this week's episode. Well, that's it for sports. Let's head back to the desk. The Republican Nevada caucuses today, uh, I think there was five candidates? Yeah, five candidates left. Jeb dropped out this weekend, bless his heart. <laughs> well, I think Donald Trump and Ted Cruz are left, so. Yeah, they're in the should, lead right now currently. Should be neck and neck, but you can check out other stories at unfspinnaker.com. Or you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And to check out tweets and pictures, go ahead and give us a follow at unfspinnaker. For Spinnaker News, I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen. Have a great day, UNF.